Good morning, everyone. Today, we're gonna have a little chat about Christmas because hey, it's right around the corner, right? Well, I happen to be sitting right by my Christmas tree to give me a little bit of extra uh, assurance, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> also, we're gonna be talking about the Christmas wreath. In our church, you know, we have a Christmas wreath that sits by the pulpit. And it looks something like this, and it has candles in it, right? Well, the ad, this is called the Advent wreath, and it's circular. And it's, it's circular because um, they're, the round, the, the circle part, reminds us that God is eternal, and his mercy is endless. And he has no beginning and no end, right? Neither does a circle. Okay, well, the green part of the wreath reminds us of the hope and, and uh, joy that we have in God. The hope of newness, of renewal, of eternal life. The candles remind us of the light of God coming into the world and through the birth of his son. It also reminds us that we're called to reflect that light of God back to others with forgiveness and grace. Just like is stated in Isaiah 42, 6. Hey, look that one up, okay? All right, the four outer candles are like the period of waiting for sun, the four Sundays of Advent. Okay, does that seem like those four Sundays before Christmas are really, really long? Like it takes a long time once you hit December to finally get to Christmas Day? Well, it does to me. And those four Sundays are our wait period that lighting each one of those candles represents. Those four candles on the outside of this middle candle they represent also 400 years of waiting between the prophet malachi and the birth of christ the colors of the candles are usually three purple and one pink candle and every sunday before of those four sundays a uh, before christmas a uh, candle is lit the scripture is read a short reading is given and there's a prayer and uh, the first candle that they light is called the candle of hope. And this draws the attention that we have hope in Jesus Christ. The second candle is the candle of peace, which also reminds us that Jesus is our peace. Then the third candle is the one for today. The candle we lit this morning was the candle of joy. The angels sang a message of joy, didn't they? Today we remember and we lit that candle of joy. The miracle of Christmas is that even though there is so much sadness in this world, the joy of Christ deep within us can help us reach out to the sad, to the poor, to the lonely, to the suffering. The fourth candle, and we'll light that next Sunday, is the candle of love. And the angels announced that good news of the Savior, Jesus Christ. And he was sent to us by God because he loves us. In John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Well, that brings us to the final candle, the center candle, and that is called the Christ candle. It's called a Christ candle because it reminds us that God is at the heart of the season, giving light to the world. I hope you will remember at least part of these little reminders as you enjoy Christmas with your families. Okay, you guys, could you bow with me with prayer? Our Father in heaven, we come before you with joy in our hearts for the hope and peace that Jesus brings. May we Cling to him every day and know him as our Savior. In Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you guys and have a wonderful, joyous week. Bye-bye.